Sean, who owns the Polygon Gallery, said to me one day, you should do a self-portrait. So I had this moment in my bedroom where, you know, uh, there was a, a conflagration of all the things that I sort of mean things to me. And so I, I made this painting to, uh, to represent that as a, kind of like a, as a self-portrait, allegorical self-portrait. That's not a good word, but anyway, you can edit that out. And, and, and uh, so this painting up here, there's a painting on the wall with a little red chimney and a green fence and it's snow on the roofs. That's, that's Vancouver when I was a kid. The, the, like the snow is melting, the, 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 the streets are wet. And over here is a, my, uh, my friend Roy Green painting because I, I, uh, of Emily. Emily Carr, one of his dog paintings that I bought from him many years ago. Underneath is a painting by my daughter of a little cat. Here's a big giant pile of receipts because I'm really bad at books. And there are my glasses because I should be looking at the receipts instead of, you know, whatever else I'm doing. And then here is all my, all my old paintings that haven't sold. They're tucked behind the bed and they're behind, there's a big stack of them here. And on the orange chair, there's a, a dress of a woman and so it's sort of like a so there's a yeah that's what it, I use a photographic technique where I where I uh, uh, you know I've told you before where I use a like a cartoon and then I paint on top of it and I use colors and Damar varnish and all that stuff this one I it, it's, it's it's a little bit the same but I I I, I tried to to bend it so I cut up the the cartoon, and as I pasted it on, I tried to bend it so that it's a, like it's an opposite perspective. Even though it's a flat wall, it kind of I'm trying to make it kind of bend the opposite way so it so the chair bulges out in the middle. That's, that's basically it. That's what I tried to do. Whether it's successful or not, I don't know. <laughs>